اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session, we looked into how to enter data into SPSS or Excel. Now, in this session, we are going to look into a brief introduction as to how we will go about analyzing this particular model in Smart PLS 4. What are the steps that one should follow in order to analyze the data? Now, basically, these are the steps that one should follow. And these are the steps that we are going to follow in this particular series as well. The first thing is that you have to clean your data. Again, there are multiple steps that need to be followed. There are a number of different videos that are available on the channel and the link will be shared in the description. I'm not going to clean the data because the videos are already there. You may watch them before moving forward with the series. So once you have cleaned your data, the first step in SCM analysis, maybe any software you're using is measurement model assessment. Now, what does measurement model assessment include? The first step is factor loadings. We look into factor loadings. How well a particular item is representing its underlying construct. Now, once you have assessed the factor loading, the next step is to assess the reliability. For reliability, we've got two measures, alpha reliability and composite reliability. Now, once your reliability is assessed, the next step is assess construct validity. And in construct validity, we have got two forms of validity, convergent validity that is assessed using average variance extracted and discriminant validity that is assessed using different techniques that are available in Smart PLS 4. Fawn and Locker criterion, which is an old method, HTMT, which is a preferred method and cross loadings. And finally, you report your measurement model. How to do this based on this particular model here? We are going to talk about this in great detail as we go along in the series. Now, once you have reported your measurement model, the next step is structural model assessment, whereby you assess the relationship between the variables, whereby you assess whether or not your hypothesis are supported or not. So the first thing that you do is you check it for collinearity. How to do this? We are going to talk about it. The next step, assess and report significance of relationships through bootstrapping. Those relationships may be mediating, moderating, or simple direct relationships. And finally, we assess the explanatory and predictive power. Now, how do you clean the data? The first step is check for minimum and maximum values. The second step is deal with your missing data. Check for outliers and remove extreme outliers. And check for respondents misconduct using standard deviation. Now, all these steps are very important. If you do not clean your data, your results are not reliable. Now, how do we follow these steps? How do we do this? In order to do this, you have to watch these videos. The videos are already available on the channel. You can watch them before you proceed to the next steps in your data analysis. If you would like to make maximum of these sessions, and enjoy a more trouble-free data analysis, please do watch these sessions. Thank you very much.